you have a message for uh, Freitas? We ain't gonna be smart. We, we friendly now. We're friendly right now. And, and I'm gonna be gentleman with him the whole time. Fight time? No friendly, no friendliness involved. You know, after fight's over, back to normal, we'll be friendly because I really, he's a really nice dude. I really like that. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to misunderstand anything that happens. You know, this is the job, this is the business. We're glad it is, we do. But when it comes time to go to battle, it's live and let die. There you go. So we'll be friends after the fight. I'll buy him a drink or some coffee or, you know, I don't know, a piece of cake, dinner or something. You can see the same fate as Casa Nuor, huh? Huh? You can see the same fate as Casa Nuor? Yeah, I believe so. I believe so. I mean, these these guys don't realize what they're dealing with, you know, the kind of strength. They think of me as a, a little guy. I'm not, not just physical strength, not punching power. I'm talking about the what I'm going to go through, what I'm going to do to be up to be on this level, to win this belt every time, win every fight. They don't know. I think that makes a big difference when you uh when you get in that ring. You know, it, it, my talent, my ability is definitely there. I showed that with Casamayor. I, I showed it time and time before. What kind of grit and, and uh, meanness I have, the, the willingness to, to put myself through pain. I've showed that time and time again. My talent and abilities are shown time and time again. Uh, so we, you know, he's gonna get to see firsthand that there's nothing you can do to stop somebody like me. You know, hey, everybody else has got is, is learning. They're, they're still learning. They see it, but he's gonna learn firsthand what it takes to deal with someone like me. Uh, what have you uh, learned from the two Casimora fights that will help you with this fight with uh, Freitas? A jab makes the job easy. <laughs> the jab makes the job real easy. You know. The first Casimir fight, we, we uh, more or less used the jab to uh, just to put out there, not to really do anything. Um, the second Casimir fight, you saw me use uh, a boxer puncher style, you know, a more, more still aggressive, um, just behind the jab, behind feints, and, and um, off little steps back and forth, you know, back and forth in. Um, so you see, you see the big difference in those. The jab just makes things work. And that's the one thing that I uh, really just stuck. I mean, me and Casimiro had a, a hellacious first fight. You know, to say it in, the, in simple words. And then you turn around and, and you uh, see a second fight, which is pretty much a cruise control fight. You know, he also didn't, he also didn't step forward either, though. But, you know, the jab just, yeah, I got to give credit to the jab. Just made it perfect, made it nice. Made it hard for him to step forward and do things he wanted to do. So that'll make it that one. Very good. Um, how, so how's training been going for this fight? Dude, you see my body. It's good. <laughs> I mean... Um, my wife wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> um, camp's been going great. I mean, you can't ask for better camp. You can't ask for a camp with better people. Um, smooth. You know, and I'm, just, I'm, having, I'm having fun. Uh, I'm sorry, baby, I miss your, your play. I stuff for my daughter that I miss her play, and she's really kind of heartbroken about that. You did your second fight with uh, Joe Goosen? Yeah. How's it been going, and uh, um, how's it compared to your, your previous training? You know, Joe, is, is, he's a good trainer. He's, he's a really good good trainer. And it, the... Even though the second fight, it really doesn't feel like that. We, we we think a lot. We think very similar. We're both real easy going. We both enjoy our job, and it makes it easy to come to camp and, and go to work when you got somebody who's on that level, who who wants to, who has the same kind of drive, who wants to win as much as you do. Does a great job. Well, you know, he, he's he's a good motivator. He's, he's always calm. He's he's real poised in the corner. He's everything is real simple. It's nothing special. Just simple work. It's just great. It just makes it perfect for me. And 
and help you go. I love it. Last time I checked, you were uh, favored. Uh, Vegas had you favored for the, this fight. Does that play into this at all? Does it mess with your mind at all? Because in my mind, I'm still underdog. Really? In, in my mind, I'm always going to be the underdog. Does yeah. that help you? Yeah, I mean, of course. I mean, because people always gonna have people always have questions about uh, about me. So it's like I'm always trying to prove something. And as long as I got something to prove, I always work hard. So in my mind, I'm always gonna stay the underdog because I gotta prove something to everybody. If if and if it's not for everybody, I'm proving it to myself. You know, just to see where I wind up, what what more I can do, what more can I prove. So this is this is a another measuring point. You know, it's it's, it's that chance to to rearrange the face of the sport, you know, start adding new faces to the sport because it's, it's starting to transform a little bit. The new faces are coming, their old faces are going, it's starting to, you know, come around again. I want to be a part of that. I want to be one of those faces. So it's, it's, I got to use that little mindset to say I'm learning about to keep myself in. If the odds maker have it right and you do uh, come away with the victory, uh, what would you have to do next? You know what? I. Honestly, I haven't thought even about a future at all. I don't have any future past Freakus. So I haven't thought of anything other than him. I won't even entertain the thoughts of anything until I figure through with him.